In this video, we'll discuss the grading sheet for major assignment two. You'll notice that for this assignment, you'll be completing four different worksheets and you can switch among the tabs at the bottom of Excel. You'll be completing income and projections, student loans, credit cards and annual budget, the mortgage rates, sheet is something you'll use to complete student loans. For the grading sheet, you have one section per sheet. And if you look in the requirements column, just like for major assignment one, you'll see what the different elements are that we're looking for and how many points each of them is worth. You can also use the checkoff column D here to keep track of where you are in the assignment and to double check your work. Once you submit, your grade will go into column F. So you'll see how many points you got and then comments will go into column G. For this assignment, the PowerPoint resource will be helpful. That will also give you information about symbolic formulas to use, some tips on procedures, as well as general discussion about the topic concepts that are covered. Note that this is a rubric grading assignment. If you scroll over, you'll see that you have a rubric score for each section instead of a complete score and percentage at the end. Here, your score in each section determines whether your rubric score is one, two, three, four, or five. In particular, if your percentage of the points in a particular section is 95% or greater, that'll be a five, 80%, to 95% is a 4, 60% to 80% is a 3, 35% to 60% is a 2, and then anything below that would be a 1. Here you see that each of the sheets in this assignment also has a weight of 19%. 4 times 19 is 76%. The other 24% is the write-up for this assignment. Next, we'll talk about the income and projection sheet. 